Uh, right. What I'm going to do quickly is get these edges of quick sand. Trying to move all the stuff which is on it because I think that's what you kind of need to do for the reason. So, like I said, I really don't have any real experience with metalworking, so this could be where it all horribly goes wrong. I have, as I said, tested a couple of times with a few different bits, and it's not pretty, but it should hopefully be strong enough. Um, Let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen?
amazingly pretty. So I'll probably be told that that is just crap brazen, but what the hell? It's uh, is what it is. So I'm going to have to wait for everything to cool down so I can actually take it apart and test it. I'll maybe try... Oh, I don't know. Put on the inside. I mean, you watch all these videos and everyone just does it within seconds and it all seems quite easy. Can maybe grind that down a little bit at some point and see how it goes. And I think there's this burnt flux on there as well. And obviously, you don't want to touch it because it's molten hot and you're going to stay molten hot for a good while. Certainly seems strong enough though. So let's go ahead and see if we can tap on this other side. Might as well do it whilst the metal's still a little bit warm. So again, not pretty. <laughs> See how it does. I think that's not 
too bad for the moment. I think I'm almost getting this grips with it. You can almost see the the brazen rod melt a little bit. I think I'm just need to get a little bit closer, maybe with the uh, with the brazer. Um, Well, it certainly feels solid. <laughs> A bit warmer in here. <laughs> this just occurs to me, I didn't clean this side up. <laughs> um, like this post like I did for the first one. But I don't know how much that's going to affect it. So... It's a bit too late really now to do much about that. Um, hopefully the, the heat will burn anything foreign off of it. I mean there's only a little bit of pen mark and I think maybe a bit of oil left on on there. But that is pretty solid. To be honest. I think this is going to work out, to be honest, so we'll just carry on with uh, blind optimism and clamping things where necessary. So there's still a little bit of a gap you probably can't really see from, from where the light's hitting it, but So it's not too bad, it's just more this top edge. On that side and this side we can just pull that end of the clamp and then I think what we'll do is we'll try and hammer that flat or flatter against this edge. First attempt, it's not looking too bad. One thing I might do if I do it again is make this shape first and then I can just draw two of the sides from that shape um, because then we'll have a little bit less fitting issues I think and a little bit less of an issue trying to bend the actual bucket to the sides. So if you bend the bucket first and then draw sides, that's probably going to be the easiest if you ever try this yourself. But uh, you know, you got to start somewhere, and you learn from your mistakes, don't you? Um, I've certainly made a couple. <laughs> So that's just not a pretty job on there. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm still liking it. So maybe once we've got the back in, let's see if we can start looking at bending or maybe just hammer the crap out of this top bit to fit it in. That said, that's just going to be a massive difference just size wise because this bucket fits in there so that's I don't know what the volume difference is going to be but now that's going to shift some earth <laughs> and that's the thing I think once you get to hang out that you're not going to use as much of the flux I mean this was only half a rod because I've messed around with it a couple of times but I can only get better because I can't get much worse. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll run a bit around this back edge, I think, and 
maybe move on to a different stick so it's getting a bit warm to hold that one. Like I said, these gloves probably aren't the correct ones to use. I think these were more of a heavy fabric sort of gardening glove. But I'll get some, uh, I think we've got gloves at the field, so I'll maybe get some of those at some point. And and do it a bit more properly and safely. <laughs> Alright, let's go for broke. Let's do another one. for it. Right, uh, let's try and get this side tacked as well. I might take this down just to that workbench and give this top a little tap. As I said, there's just a little gap on the on these edges. So if I can maybe just give it a quick tap with a hammer, that might pull it down into shape. Yeah, I'll just do that off camera because it's just going to be a couple little taps on on the top there. Hopefully I don't split everything apart. <laughs> okay, so I think hitting it with a hammer has worked actually. Let's pull it in quite a bit. There's a little bit of a gap, just a tiny one there. But the rest of it is kind of pretty flush. So, uh... So yes, I might give this a I'll give this another quick tap actually. But it's close. It's still very close. Right, uh got this last couple of bits done. almost looks nice. It's a bit of a better result there than <laughs> that side. this breeze which is kind of melted off and loose so I might try throwing it in and melting it on and see if that will work as a bit of a filler just because it's not 
100% there, but if you can melt some bits onto it, maybe that will uh, maybe that'll keep it going. <laughs> yeah, some bits are really gonna look pretty, some bits look kind of okay. Oh, I think that's getting pretty solid there to be honest. And probably more than adequate for what it's gonna be doing. So yeah, um I'll We'll, we'll go with I'm happy with the results so far. Um, I guess all I need to do now is uh, try and finish up these two bits. It's almost a decent time to do stuff. So I'll try and get outside and quickly grind them. I'll do that off camera. You've probably seen me grinding things enough. But yeah, I think that's, that's going to work, that is. And I don't mind too much, there's a little bit of a overspill there. It's still warm. But yeah, I think that's for the most part. Close to reasonable. So yeah, I'll let this cool down and uh, we'll figure out the, the mounting brackets for the hitch. So, take that outside and ground that down on the... Uh, there it is. <laughs> That's looking close. I imagine it's looking close. I haven't lined it up. Needs a little bit of tidying up, just a quick file, just to get the, the burrs off. Where are you? Come here. Oh, God. You know what? That's going to... that's going to work. It didn't even have to be that rounded, I was just copying the bit there. So yeah, I think I'll just tidy these up, punch some holes in it, drill them, and then we'll have a look at uh, getting them attached somehow to the bucket. But I've got a plan for attaching them to the buckets, which I'm hoping will work. Excellent. So anyway, um, my plan for these, which I need to drill, clamp them together again maybe. to mark it off for me holes. So 
not quite working and I just need to I just need to mark it. Uh, I'm sure I had a couple lying around. Where's my drill bits? Drill bits I've put somewhere safe. <laughs> We'll get a drill bit and we'll just try and quickly mark a place. Box of stuff. That's a wood bit right there. Just two seconds, I'm going to find a metal bit. Lost a lot of drill bits. That is a perfect size. Right. Uh, do we have scrap wood lying about? I think I'll change to the end drill. Just because this will give me a little bit more control. Step up to the correct size bit, which I've literally lost. No, there it is. Still in the dribble. I think they're close enough to be in spot on. <laughs> so, yeah. That's looking good to me. We'll just get this other one. And that's going to be me sorted, and we'll be on to uh, the final bit of brazen. Oh, it's as if I almost know what I'm doing here. I mean, almost, I don't, but... <laughs> So my plan, come on you want to fit through, yep, is we're going to thread one side of these on, yes, and lock at least one bit in place so we can get measurements, as I said, tiny, tiny bolts, probably an M1 or something. No idea. But this will allow me to lock everything in place so I can get the right width. That's all coming together like a barely oiled machine. <laughs> so that's you there. And then I want to get another one on. And we'll try and set the width. So that sits inside, that needs to be spun out a couple of turns. It's 
it's going to be a lot easier once it's attached to something. I mean, if anyone sees a ruler, you can't miss it. It's like that big by that big right angle. It was here. <laughs> uh, where are you? Found it. Right. And a bucket. Ah, <laughs> that's it. Yes, it's not perfect, and I may have maybe heated this bit a bit too much. It seems to have drooped down a little bit in the middle, but I'm sure with a, a bit of gentle persuasion and a hammer, that will come through. But again, That seems solid. But, uh, <laughs> I just guess we need to tidy this up and uh, and maybe give it a lick of paint. Um, I mean, I know that's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There's things that I'd probably do differently, having done this one. I know not well what not to do now and what to do a bit better like make the actual bucket first and then cut the sides but uh, that is that is impressive and it fits a whole bucket inside the bucket and more so I guess the only thing left to do now is to throw on some bolts I think this lock nut has lost its lock bit in the middle because that's been melted out but you know what that doesn't matter to me we can always thread lock that on but uh, I guess the, the real test is going to be seeing if it actually works with the excavator and to be honest I don't see any reason why it shouldn't I think my sizes are kind of close to accurate, or as accurate as it needs to be. 
and uh, yeah, it's, it's been an experience. Um, at the very least, it's it's been some sort of practice in teaching myself how to uh, how to braise. That probably doesn't need to be too tight on there. And we'll get this second one on. But to be honest, I'm more surprised that things actually line up and it works. Well, I, I guess it's going to work as. Uh, <laughs> as I intend it to have uh, been. Um, it's getting dark again out there. This has been a couple of evenings and mornings actually uh, going at it when I've got the time. Um, but I guess we can see if it actually fits on the excavator. I guess we, uh, the only way to do that is to uh, try to pick up the bucket. First test, it's been a little while. So let's see if I can uh, just make it easy for myself. Let's see if we can do this. Fits, which is a good sign. Something special there. Get a bit more in, more in focus. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. Tidy this up. Like I said, I might give it a quick tap of a hammer in there. <laughs> and once the, the ground's a little bit softer, we'll uh, we'll get it out and <laughs> give it a proper test. But that is massive. <laughs> but anyway, for now, um, I think I'll call it a day on the. So uh, thanks for watching, um, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you around. Bye now. Okay, just a quick update. Um, I was doing a quick bit of testing of this, and had accidentally popped off one of the hitches. Well, actually both of them. But I think I know why. I was having a bit of trouble heating everything correctly, I think. 
mainly because the surface area on there is quite big so um, because it was hotter there sorry yeah hot, hotter on these bits than it was there the breeze hasn't really taken I did try heating up again after cleaning it a little bit but uh, yeah and that one's a little wobbly so I don't think it's taken properly because as I said the heat dissipated more from the main bucket than the hitch but I think there's probably a way around that um, instead of using one mil on the hitches if I use something like two mil maybe then that'll probably take the heat a little bit better on there and match it closer to the actual bucket so there won't be a, as much of a heat difference and the braze should hold but uh, what I'm going to do is go with plan B <laughs> my dad has a has a little arc welder so I might drop this off to him or go around and see if uh, see if he can weld that or if I can weld that to it um, which should work or as I said use something thicker like maybe 2mm uh, for the hitches and it should then help in the uh, heat distribution side of things because I said these were just getting too hot too quick whilst this was a little bit cooler so yeah as I, said, I still think it's a worthwhile project doing uh, this is my first piece so I didn't expect it to be perfect and obviously there's problems um, but fixable I think the reason why the sides are solid is because I was only heating the edge of the bucket so the heat doesn't dissipate as much as it did over the middle and again this is the larger section so the heat difference between the two wasn't as big as the small hitches onto a large bucket but anyway I'll, I'll have a look at that and keep you updated um, but like I said I think in theory just a couple of little bits to change um, and it should still be a viable process so if you're doing it yourself go for something like a 2 mil probably mil and a half, 2 mil um, then that should help with the with the heat difference between the main bucket and the hitch um, and then that should as I said hopefully make everything work better but anyway um, yeah I thought I'd let you know that just so you don't go ahead and, and do it as I've done it and then come and murder me that it's all gone pear shaped <laughs> but anyway as I said easily solved in, in theory it, well what I'm thinking anyway um, just going from logic which I probably should have thought of myself but didn't um, but as I said I'll, I'll give this another try probably um, maybe make a smaller bucket <laughs> maybe go for a trenching, trenching bucket or something like that um, and give that a try but, uh, but a worthwhile exercise um, and as I said you, you learn from your mistakes don't you so hopefully the next one will be that much better anyway thanks for watching bye now